My name is Jeremy Johnson. I am the Pitt UN postdoc at Berkeley, and I'm pleased to share with you a bit about our project, Algorithmic Justice and Tech Equity at UC Berkeley, Cultivating Pitt Scholars in Career Pathways. We have a large team of people that you can see reflected on this slide who have come together to create an amazing community and tremendous programming for Pitt at Berkeley. We're so excited to share it with you, what we've been doing this year, and I want to start with the Fiat Justice Scholars Program. The centerpiece of our programming this year is the Fiat Justice Scholars Program. This is a community of undergraduate scholars focused on tech equity and algorithmic justice. These include both STEM and non-STEM majors who are looking to develop computational skills, gain critical reflection practice, and develop professional opportunities. They're doing so through our programming that includes workshops, career conversations, lectures, research opportunities, and internship connections, all designed to create well-rounded leaders in public interest technologies. Our work is possible through the combined effort of three major partner organizations, the first of which is the D-Lab, which creates workshops and consulting on research design, quantitative and qualitative methods, Python programming, data visualization, and much more. The D-Lab offers to students critical skills in data work and data design that will allow them to enter the public interest technology community and workforce. The School of Information is represented by the Algorithmic Fairness and Opacity Group. This is an interdisciplinary research group that hosts workshops, lectures, and public events focused on bolstering algorithmic fairness and data justice. This, of course, pairs with the hands-on skills that the D-Lab offers for students, giving them critical perspectives to also contribute to public interest technologies work. Finally, CalNerds offers a wide range of services to students, including skills-based workshops, such as STEMinist boot camps, grad school prep, professional training, and community building. CalNerds focuses on first-gen, low-income, LGBTQ, disabled, system-impacted, and other underrepresented students, making sure that they have everything they need to succeed in the public interest technologies arena, and more broadly in the workforce and in academia. To give you a bit of a sense as to how we selected the scholars, first of all, we solicited applications circulating a flyer that described what we would be doing in our program and what we'd be offering to the students, which includes financial support to ensure that they are able to participate in the program, that they are not so worried about you know, missing something or not being able to afford something, that they can feel comfortable coming to our programming and working with us. CalNerds led the selection process. They weighed the applications holistically to make sure that they weren't assessing just a, a GPA or any one data point, but instead considering the students as whole people who could contribute to our program. The cohort that we came up with includes first-generation students, low-income students, ethnic minority students, dreamers, transfer students, and adult learners, a diverse and thriving community of students that we have found that includes now 20 scholars, which was substantially more than we planned because the applicants we got were so incredible. These are fantastic students to work with. On the next few slides, I wanna feature just a few of the amazing scholars in our program. The most important thing that we've been doing is to create community for the students and for our PIT programming at UC Berkeley. The first way that we've done so is by co-hosting welcome events and get-togethers. Each of our organizations has been contributing to these events starting in the summer with virtual events, 
and now in person, outside, socially distanced with food, to make sure that we have a vibrant community coming together on our campus. It's been tremendously successful and, and so refreshing to see everybody's faces and to be able to talk in person. We've been cultivating a vibrant, inclusive space in the Cal Nerds location. They have tremendous resources for students, including meeting spaces and study spaces, and as you can see on the right, a pantry that includes food and supplies that students may need for campus. We've been sending out surveys and soliciting student input on our continued programming. We want the students to know that they are the centerpiece of the programming we're putting together. And, and in so doing, we get a better sense of what they need, what they want, and what we can offer for our community at Berkeley. Finally, we've been hosting office hours for individualized questions and advice. The students have been coming in for a variety of things, um, including stuff like grad school and talking about the workforce, and it's been a tremendous success in creating our community. Our PIP programming this year has been tremendously successful, offering a variety of experiences and insights for the students. This first of all starts with the workshops that CalNerds and DLab have been putting on, including Steminist boot camps, Python workshops, data visualization, and much more. This also includes our Pitt UN lectures, which as you can see include an amazing roster of folks so far and many more forthcoming. Our critical reflection workshops are always paired with the Pitt UN lectures, giving students critical skills in understanding data and algorithmic justice. And also our career pathways lunches have rounded out our career pathways programming to help the students understand pathways in Pitt. We've had tremendous success in creating programming for career pathways for the students. That has exposed the students to varying careers in public interest technologies, specifically in academic, government, nonprofit, and private sector work, especially through these lunches with public interest technology folks. We've connected the scholars with internships and externships, and that's a process that's going to be ongoing into the spring and the summer to help them have pathways into working in public interest technologies as the successful outcome of our program. We are excited to continue working with the students who are now creating a Fiat Justice Scholars Club at UC Berkeley and to continue programming into the spring of 2021, including more lectures, workshops, and internship and externship opportunities. And on behalf of everyone with our team, I want to say thank you so much. We are so elated to be able to share our experiences with you. We're excited to continue our work and we hope to hear from you. Thanks.